Hello and welcome. This is Spiritual Findings and I'm your host, Vera Lynn. Today we're going to do a little tarot and talk. Or a session where I'm just going to pull some tarot cards, see what kind of messages are in store for you. Um, you know, this could be for spring, for 2020, your current situation. Um, if you'd like to book a private reading, all you have to do is go ahead and comment below or reach out to me on Facebook or my email too as well. All right, guys, so let's get started. We're starting off with the Page of Pentacles. So I'm seeing a message right now that's coming to you regarding your finances, or it also could be um, a potential love interest or uh, some type of relationship, whether it's career or friendship. Um, but it's going to be somebody a little more youthful coming into your life, brightening up in your life um, with a message that's really just going to help you out um, with our grounding, connecting with the earth, your materialistic needs, kind of getting to a more stable stable foundation okay it could be a romance relationship so it could be a one that you do together um but i always recommend following your instincts if somebody does come along with inspirations and passions don't gear yourself towards their desires for them to like you or be attracted to you or find interest in you um really just do what sparks interest and joy for you okay um because i know we can kind of all put on our peacocking or flirting stage you know where we kind of soften up our own edges but you know what just let it all hang out there because if you are single or trying something new with your already established relationship, you know, why kind of cover things up? You know, I mean, it's one thing to be sweet when, um, you know, maybe you're feeling a little bit frustrated, but just be honest, be honest with yourself. And also we have the chariot come up, which tells me that you are going through torn emotions, um, unbalanced estrogen, testosterone, feminine, masculine energies within yourself, okay? Um, maybe even struggling between always having that positive mindset that you are always inspired by yourself, um, but you seem to be stuck, you know, ha with those negative those negative thoughts about yourself, criticism, um, just keep popping up. All right, so let's just kind of take a step back. I feel like right now is a really good time with the weather warming up, depending on when you're watching this. I really feel like it's a really good time to get out there and ground with Mother Nature. Get out there, take those shoes off, you know, pick up those vibrations that Mother Nature is just really wanting to heal you for, okay? And that, and that, if you do maybe a meditation outside, grounded meditation outside, it'll provide some answers for which direction it is you need to approach with the obstacles or relationships or directions you need to approach, okay? Do I need to take the more masculine approach or do I need to take the feminine approach? Okay, do I need an equal balanced out for both of this? Because, you know, sometimes we have to call on the masculine side or you have to call on the feminine side. You know what it is for what situation now, what it is you need to call on. Okay, but find the balance of the two. Go out on the ground um, and find a level headed mindset about it before you approach it. Okay, and then you'll know if you need to approach it like a lord or approach it like a lady all right okay with the chariot too uh it could be a cancer there could be a cancer coming up in your life you could have a friend that's a cancer it could resemble somebody of your family maybe you need to bounce ideas off of a fellow cancer maybe you are a cancer yourselves you know i'm not really gearing towards any zodiac here today um I know a lot of you guys are used to that from my past work, which we're doing little things different here. If you guys are part of the local community here, which we are local, we were located in Pennsylvania, but we work with the tri-state area, comment below. Um, but you know what? Where are you guys from? I have a lot of people overseas in the UK, India. Comment below where you're from and your zodiac sign. Shout out. Um, you know, if you guys aren't aware of your moon sign, I'd love to comment to you guys with your moon sign. Okay, let's get in touch. All right. Also, don't forget to like and share. I never say that, but you know, hey, 
If you like me, you like me. You'll like you'll like and share if, it, if, if you feel needed. All right, so we are ending up with the Three of Cups here. So I really do feel overall unity is coming, okay? A sense of community, a sense of family, friendship is coming around the corner for you. There's a few kinks that we need to work on, work in ourselves, um, some shadow work perhaps, um, you know, gearing our mind, our body, and soul, and really connecting all of them. Um, maybe bouncing off of ideas, off of that young man mentor that might come your way or even um you know the cancer if you're not the cancer there could be a cancer in your life that you need to bounce ideas off of um you know cancers are very tribe related um uh, you know big on family um very caring passionate nurturing people um if you're not a cancer yourself maybe you just need that perspective okay um with the three of cups um girls nights out vacations shopping um you know, a lot of, I see a lot of day drinking for some of you guys. Be safe out there. But it's around the corner. Um, be patient. Make plans. Um, and stick with them. Because when you do stick with them, I do feel... You know, things are really going to come about, whether it's networking, whether it's meeting your, you know, future lover or, you know, your best friend, um, whatever it is, you'll be surprised when you stick to the commitments, even if you don't want to go out or you tend to be a home buddy or whatever it is. Once you get yourself out there, there's a lot of fun things out there waiting for you. OK, um, you know, you could meet somebody at a party that you never really wanted to go to. So just keep that in mind. All right, guys. All right, so I'm going to pull one from the animal spirits because why not? Messages from the animals. Let's see what we got in store here. All right. Yeah, I'd love to know who's watching. Um, I haven't been on the YouTube side of things, so I would know, love to know who is still watching my YouTube, whether you're part of the spirit family, whether you're coming from a local expo, if I did a reading at you at a local expo, if I work with, if I recently worked with you online, um, you know, if you've been with me for over the couple years now, let me know. All right, so we have the platypus. Stop complaining and focus your attention on blessings in your life. Now that is beautiful. I feel, <laughs> I feel like this just goes with everybody, right? Because we weren't expecting, um, you know, the recent issues to be occurring, but here they are. So stop complaining, all right? And embrace. If you guys watched my reading earlier, it was definitely um, need to change mindsets. Uh, I was speaking with. Um, one of my coven members earlier today, and it's funny because her, we're all connected even when we're not communicating because she reached out to me and I had another member reach out to me as well. And we were both on the same page where, uh, you know, we need to quit complaining and um, we need to stop you know, cursing ourselves with our own words, whether it's, you know, lack of confidence or what's going on and realize that our words hold power. Okay. So stop complaining about yourself. Stop complaining about the situation. Make the most of it. Are you not where you want to be at in your life and in, in regards of a resident situation? Well, you know what? Make the most of it and make that little prayer corner or whatever that you can return to and meditate into. Um, you know, are you not happily ever after married with kids yet? Well, you know what? Let's make the most of it. There's a lot of things that you can do in your single life that you can't do when you're married and have kids. Let's embrace that side of it. You know, are you not at your dream job yet? Okay, well, maybe there's some few things that you needed to stumble upon along the way before you got there. You never really know, okay? Everything happens for a reason. I am a strong believer in that. You watching this video right now, everything happens for a reason, okay? All right, well, I am going to wrap things up on that note. It's a lovely note. Everything happens for a reason. Um, you know what? You guys can message me if you would like a private reading. Um, I'm actually, since things have been going on, my rates are extremely reasonable because I know everybody's going through some hard times. You can comment below to get in contact with me for a reading. You can email me. You can reach out on the Facebook. Um, private message me there or even comment on something. Uh, I'm quick to reply. So, you know, if you would like a reading because I know these can be kind of vague but they are still fun uh, reach out 
Um, but if not, if you want to be a part of the community, know when our future expos, events, gatherings are going to be taking place, go ahead and reach out. All right, guys, you take care. Blessed be.